Ron and Amy in the car doctor. Danny's on the camera today as always. Come on in, Danny. I want to show you this. I'm working on an 09 F-150 with an AC problem. Condenser, you can see how wet it is, right? We had a refrigerant leak. Customer complaining, poor AC performance. Sure, there was no refrigerant in the system. We're very low. I think we took uh, two ounces out of it, um, out of a total of a pound and a half, 24-ounce uh, system. So we've got a leak. Put a condenser in it, okay? And going through the finals. And now we have a system that passes a vacuum test. It has a refrigerant charge. The right side duct is blowing 45 degrees. Hey, that's great. And is it my imagination or the left side is a little warmer? And I'm saying, gee, what's up with that? So I started to look at it. I scanned it for codes. All right. We've got a B1081 00, which is a left temperature damper current fault code. The body module or the air conditioning heating module is seeing a fault in the performance of the blend door, right? You always hear me talk about blend doors, you know, which is the position of the door over the heater or the evaporator core to let more or less air from making it hotter or colder. Think of the front door to your house. If you wanted more fresh air, you would open it. If you wanted less fresh air, you would close it. So if they want more cool air to pass over the evaporator core where the refrigerant process is taking place, they direct more airflow over it and, and so on to take away. Well, this is telling me that the, the door is stuck or it's not moving properly. I then graphed it, okay? Here's a bad, here's a bad blend door by graph. Um, left blend door, the door is stuck at 40%. How do I know that? Because I've got 40% there, but I've got zero here, the door position. The computer is commanding it and saying, hey, you should be at zero, because I've got the temp set at max cold, but it's stuck at 40, all right? How do I know? Because I went to the right side. Always look at known good. If you want to understand what's bad, always look at known good. Here's the right side door actuator, 51%, 50%. There's a 1% tolerance here, okay? But I could command this. The notch in the graph, if you look at the two side by side, all right, 50, it goes up, 40, it's just a flat line. That notch is I commanded it to 20%, I commanded it to 30%, I commanded it to 40%, 50%, and so on. This is good, this is bad. This is a bad blend door actuator. And unfortunately, to get to it, you've gotta take most of the dashboard apart. So we already talked to the customer, he's gonna see if he can tolerate cold air and a little less cold on the left side because of the expense and the age of the vehicle. But I just thought you'd like to see. Maybe there's a lesson here, right? Good repairs go bad. Maybe you've just got to expect the unexpected. But when you get that phone call from your mechanic and they say, hey, here's what we found, because there's no way we or anyone could know the performance of that blend door actuator prior to making sure the system has a charge. Now, maybe we pulled fault codes. Maybe we could have done that and maybe we should include that in AC repair. I'll have to think about that and comment it on a future show. But bottom line, the truck just needs more, and that's something you have to look forward to and expect. I'm Ron and Annie in the Car Doctor. I'll see you guys on radio. Thanks for stopping by. Did you miss this week's full broadcast of Ron and Annie in the Car Doctor? Or maybe you want to hear certain parts of it all over again. Well, it's easy to do. Once the show airs, it then becomes a podcast. You can find it through all major podcast players and media, iHeartMedia, Google, Amazon Music, Spotify, and so much more. Use your favorite search engine and ask for Ron and Anian Podcast. Watch what happens next. Need more Ron? That's okay. Look for Ron and Anian, available via podcast, wherever podcasts are found. <laughs>